Hello, I am Darth Thel, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma. This shall probably be the last part. Oops, I gotta speak to Orla. So let's hope. The meaning of the Arisen's charge, of the quest to reclaim one's heart. Pray, permit me to help you now. But um, let's hope there's no kind of capture fuck up. If there, there is, that means I'm gonna have to replay through the entire game again. Messing with the mic, sorry. It's really bugging me. That's gonna have to fucking do. Okay. So, whoops. What I wanted to do is see if I can get any loot from the Yor Dragon, because I do believe we fought him online once. So I'm gonna kill this. Why well, not kill this son of a bitch? I'm gonna grab my loot. If I get, even get anything good. And then, to the end game. I can get rid of the pawns. There's no point in bringing them anywhere now. Consider revamping your party if progress seems impossible. Smith crystal money 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 I'll take that. That everything? That's everything. Alright, we're done. Give my stones, or yeah, stones, wake stones. Grab them, wake stones, and then proceed to the Everfall. I'm not even gonna bother exploring the Everfall. Killing the UR Dragon offline mode gave me all the wake stones I need. Nothing to give. Good. As you will. It will be here. Yes, I have fifty wakes down. Sweet. How many did you need? Twenty. I can easily check right now. Boop, boop. Yeah, it's 20. And I have 20. So wheat. There are some who bet. What can I do you for? As you will. Uh, here are these shards. Alright. As you will. What can I do you for? Take care now. Let us end this. That's not the right ones. Actually, I should store those. I'm done with Bitter Black. This is going to be a long part. I know it. There's a lot of cutscenes. Does he have fairy stones? Hold on to those if you want, Jazz. To Grand Soren! <laughs> Gotta keep a very close eye on my capture window. Because if this fucks up, in the middle of the ending of this game, it means I'm gonna have to play through all of it over again.
Which, on the upside of doing that, though, I like a second chance against Celine. And I'm still annoyed by the whole Celine not being my beloved because the game cheated me. That was bullshit. Do 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 Rock and roll. Consider revamping your... Read that one already. Well, Alessandra, you stuck with me pretty much this entire Let's Play. No, oh, you did get killed a few times, but I, I dragged you along. You're a really good mage. But only Chaz and I can continue. the whole of them with them you can summon forth a rift of considerable power then let's do it this rift born of the wakestone's power will guide you forward Elizabeth. i fear there will be no returning to this place are you prepared to journey on yes we completed the bareback isle stuff we killed the ur dragon and we killed death so there is nothing left to do in this game let's do it Pretty. We'll find the truth below. We must jump. Turning up my my right, my mic, my volume real quick. That's that should do. Let's do it. <laughs> the Seneschal's chamber. Wait, the fuck's up with this camera? What the hell? Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you've faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. This dude's theme is pretty sweet. You air have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? I'm gonna let him talk. What sustained your wanderings and led you here? Even though I can't shoot him in any way. What is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Are you done? So there are multiple endings at this part too, and one of them is to be killed by him. But I'm not doing them because I didn't do it with the dragon, so goodbye! Just as you call forth bonds, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth. 
the unbending reality of a world without compassion. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the pawns. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Round two. Fight. The final battle trial will. It's kind of hard to believe that so many have risen fell before this guy. He's kind of a pushover. Which. Probably not stupid. <laughs> Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. Oh, you can curve it. Nice. He's kind of a super easy boss for the final game, but I think it's more about the dr dramatic tension of this, whatever the words I'm looking for is. All right, time to move on. It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace. A false life. And I believe this is the last ending you're gonna get is by walking that way. Similar to the dragon, it ends in a game over and lets you restart here so you can grab them all in one go. But of course we're going to confront him. Why not put an end to it? Phrases of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. <laughs> That's a might harsh, I... Trying to guilt trip me. Ever the noble one, you. Be gone. I like this camera angle, even though it's just normal. But it's all dramatic and tilting and shit. Mercedes! You're not without a home to return to. I almost questioned your name. That's okay. Why? What is it drives you so? This is who I am. Hi, my! <laughs> this is too great an honor for one of my stature. I'm playing Grand Storm to Or no. Cassidy's. You've ought to protect, do you not? This, this is your answer, then. Didn't I already kill the king once? Oh, I hate you. Village elder trying to stop me. Instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind now and again. That's, that's all Selena say goodbye. Oh, Kuna. You are supposed to be the last one to try to stop me? The person I barely interacted with? That's a creepy ass music. Holy shit. Oh, 
You can't guilt trip me in the stopping. first time playing the game it would be uh Sven, the dude you played as in the tutorial later playthroughs in offline mode it would just be you and then chad just instant killed him and then in online mode it's a random person's character i think i have to hit them this is fucking teamwork <laughs> Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now. Vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. It feels different yet. <laughs> I like how the pawns react to the camera. Let us speak. Your crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boom. Trying to get a good camera angle. Damn it. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom. Chaz's blade looks God. fucking awesome, though. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. All right, that's question. As my own, is yours to take. What is the seneschal? The seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the Arisen calls Pawn into being and sets them to motion, the Seneschal holds dominion over all living things. There are those who would call such a being Maker or God. I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. True. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served, just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. Even we who traverse the rift do not ken what lies beyond. New crown sovereign. If that be it out. My knowledge, How is the world compared? The pawns exist astride the rift. They speak of a multitude of worlds, each infinite unto itself. 
multiverse. Limitless in span and lost to time, these worlds extend in an eternal, perfect loop. Just as a ring lacks start and end, so this world has no origin, no final terminus. If it does, they lie beyond our kin. We are prisoners of unpassing time, wandering an unending land. What lies beyond, we cannot know. That's what Dragon's Dogma 2 would be about. If they make one. If there is my knowledge as my own. What is eternity? There is life in the world and with it death. Not lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of Pons. Oops, let's make me go forward on time. Only to appear again. Like bubbles in a mountain spring. As so it is with all that lives within this eternal world. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch, Sinisha. Each beast, each blade of grass, each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm. Not lasts forever. Yet all persists unto eternity. This bears the look of it. The world beyond the rift. New crown sovereign. The last time I played this, if there is aught you the random know person was me, you need but which was weird. My knowledge as that was on online mode. What is weird? Will is that which led you to this place, and that which turns the eternal wheel of the world. Along the endless string of life and death, there are some born with a hunger. They yearn for some other, better place. They are the arisen. Nascent fountainheads of will. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the arisen and refine them, to temper their wills into aught capable of sustaining the world. And so the cycle of our world has ere continued. This place is familiar, New Crowns. Well, that's everything. If there is aught you wish to know. <laughs> Mourn me not, for I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring. A lot of XP. So, Chaz, what do we do today? The, means to bring about anything. the same thing we'll do until the end of eternity. Watch over the world! I don't want to watch Peaky the Green. And I made that reference out of nowhere. <laughs> Cassidy's. The life as a seneschal. Woo, spooky ghost! Spooky! I can attack. Sweet. <laughs> oh shit, I can kill people? Get back up. Interesting. That is my will! Invisible bow. Yeah, let's just kind of sprint around, see what's up. Boom, boom. My house, my house, no more. No Celine. No, what's her face? What the hell is her name? Hmm. Doesn't matter. I didn't want her anyway. I wanted Celine. Where our adventure began. Oh, I can't take it. I can pick things up, but I can't put things in my inventory. I kind of wish the music would continue playing in a loop. 
Good to know you guys still haven't repaired this. Who knows how much time has passed. Back down here when we were first selected as Risen. I really wish we could have gone out to the dock that was completely and utterly, utterly destroyed by the dragon. Got some stairs up here. So the final boss wasn't that tough, but it's more about his role in the story. Still an epic fight in terms of visual and the music. It's an awesome theme. If you're wanting a super awesome, mega, kick-ass, intense boss fight, the Dark Arisen half of the game gave you that with Damon. And that was a very intense, awesome fight. And slightly frustrating. The village Chapel, a place we never really visit. Can you see me? Do you feel like you're being watched? Don't you guys technically worship me? Is that someone laying on the ground? That is. What the hell are you doing? You can have my house. Boom, boom. You know what the hell is over through here? Can I enter? The door is closed. Huh. Is it possible to enter that? I don't know. Boom, boom. MZ's Ale House. Oh, there's a random ass Ale House back here. Not a good location. Oh, there's actually someone in here. Hello. Sitting here all alone. Do 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 do. Alright, well that's Cassardus. Things look peaceful and normal again. What's up? It is my duty to share this journey with you, and an honor besides. I wonder how many people just sat here trying to figure out what the hell they do. And now we're back in Grand Storm. The town's been fixed! Yay! How's business? Looking good. Sweet. Looks like none of you cared that the hole's gone. Business seems to be doing well. One of the few people who doesn't doubt me for bringing the big ass hole on the ground. The knowledge chair, the dude that just hangs out in the ale house all day. The two house, or actually this is an inn, but the two bedded inn. See, this building, I have no clue how you're supposed to get into it. Like, there's an item in here. For uh, a bunch of quests, but how the fuck do you get inside this building? The barber shop. Hello. This door is closed. There's still pawns hanging around here? Sweet. Can you guys see me? You guys should be able to see me. Madeline shop open down here. Black cat. Well, her shop is here, but she is not. Nice. Music cuts out so goddamn fast. Then we're back over here. 
do do All the pawns. Let's take one last look of this place. And catch it. There's still only two locations you can do it. Pawn kid. Oh, there's a fairy stone. I can't pick it up. Hey guys! I'm sure you can sense my presence. Oh, the rift stone's gone. Sad. Didn't I save this kid? Yep. Too bad you can't, he doesn't open up into a shop you can buy things from. And down here is where we fought the cockatrice. The family still down here? I don't see them. Good for them. Could run around the walls, but I don't feel like doing that. Let's go visit the church, see if we can find Kuna in there. I didn't see her in the village, though I didn't really look. Can you get a new skeleton key? But, um... Fornival's house. Thanks for opening the door. Hello. Claire, can I... Nope, I run right through people. Hmm. But I can stab them. Strange. But that is the will of a god. Dun, 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 dun. Too bad I can't run through walls. But that would just be bullshit. Hey! Alright, we're done here. Let's go back to our seat in the other world, if this will take me there. Does it say back? Yep. Alright. Well, Chaz, you've been a nice companion. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Thanks for getting in shot. You have a piece of my soul, Chaz, and now you'll have all of it. Though you also ch physically change to look like me, and that'll probably be strange for you. But it's time to set you free and break this world, or break the the chain of the Arisens. Thank you. I 
given up hope of seeing you again, in any form. It's clear that forces beyond my ken are at work here. But I'll ask no questions. Not today. I'm still annoyed that I didn't get fucking Celine for that scene, damn it. I felt like it's better with her because she'll recognize that as Ch as me as being Chaz. That was the whole point. But no, the game had to fuck me on that one. Bullshit. <clears throat> Three seven two thousand sixteen is the date. Fourteen thousand enemies, and there's Chaz. I really don't like how the chainmail I know what to do pops out underneath the armor, that annoys me. That really annoys me. <clears throat> they do make a sequel. I need to add in um Dying clothing. That would be a nice little feature. Dude, dude, didn't play with him this playthrough, but he's one of my most... <laughs> probably my most played with pawns. I guess that's what those... Well, those guys are. Ugh. Well. That's the end of the Dragon's Dogma. It was a pretty sweet game. PC gamers have been able to play it for the last two months. That hasn't updated. Changed that pawn. You should. You think that would be changed by with with Sandra because I carried her for a long time. Unless she appears somewhere else in this little book. There she is. Traveled with me pretty much the entire damn game. She was a good mage. Knew how to buff. Shout out to that player's owner. Or that pawn's owner. You created a useful mage. Now, I want to play um, Dragon's Dogma Online. But still nothing about its western release. Uh, I carried you for a while too. Didn't I? 28 hours. I don't know what date clear it is. Is that when you, you first beat it? It's like Shining Force. That's a stretch of a reference. Sweet. Done. Hopefully there's no capture fuck up. Kind of hoping at the same time there is so I can get Celine, but fucking whatever. Looks fine. This game is awesome. I am glad I randomly... Downloaded the demo and played it. But not so randomly downloaded it. I was watching a YouTuber play Dark Souls and he invited his friend into the chat to help to help him figure it out. And he's like, Oh, you know what game you should play Dragon's Dogma. And I was bored, instead of looking through the games on Xbox Live and there's Dragon's Dogma. And I was like, eh, I'll download it. And I kinda instantly liked the game. Or the game. Yeah, instantly liked the game. It also greatly helped. But the first when you the demos, the tutorial with um, Sven, and then it's fighting the Griffin outside Grand Sword, and it really helped that it fucking the default class it sets you to for the uh, the only class you can play as in um, the demo fighting the Griffin is the Strider with the bow and the daggers. It's like that was instantly into my playstyle.
Which I will probably play that same playstyle in Kingdom of the Amalur. Whenever I get around to playing that. Probably soon. If not next. Or after. Or after Psychonauts. But I'm done! Got all the achievements. I mean, they're still hard mode, and I probably will do hard mode in the future. Maybe when this game gets... When I get a job and all that shit. When it gets released on Xbox One backward compatibility, or they just do a straight up fucking remake of PC versions all the way up on the Xbox and PlayStation. I'll probably do hard mode in the future. That's generally why I always play all my games on lower difficulties. Play it for story, and then if I feel like playing the game again, I can do it on hard difficulty. I'm definitely gonna do this on hard mode, which I still haven't fucking checked. If you start off at level zero or level one, this will be my fifth time playing it because I'm looking at my stats and shit. Uh, I got can't think of anything else to say. I would. Yeah, I was gonna say if I want to make a Fancy Star remake, it would definitely be gameplay based off kind of like this. You make those shit. I like the gameplay. I still haven't played as mage, so I don't know how intense the battle gets as a mage. But as a melee class and the rangers, holy shit, can battles get intense? They evade. I love it, and I love the double jump that they get. Rangers get. Never played as a magic archer, only strider and ranger. I played as a fighter, and that's about it. I'm gonna actually stay here through all the credits. Not very long credits. Capcom. Please make a sequel. I hope the PC version did enough to warrant it. So Chaz should look like that online, and my character should look like that online. Cleared game data has been saved. Loading this cleared game will allow you to begin a new game. The items you obtained last playthrough will be available in item storage. I do wish this game had a better save feature. Because it did screw me a few times and captures fucked up. Background. What's the background? There's always a dragon involved in this. There he is. You know, I never met a single dragon in the wild like that. There is some. Like, before beating the dragon, Grigory. There is one that appears near. The Shadow Fort. Yeah, the, the Shadow Fort. I ran into him my first time blind, scared the hell out of me. Couldn't do shit to him. Alright, well, we're going on for 44 minutes, 45 if you want to include the damn outro. That'll be the total video length. I did all the main missions. I got fucked with the Selene being my beloved. Did all a Bitter Black Isle, killed Death, killed Damon twice, fought his second form for the first time without cheesing it with the, the, the Conqueror's Parataths and Liquid Vim. I actually fought him. Without those, as I already said, and that was really fun and annoying. Grigory was a fun fight, though I really wish my character lands the ground after the battle takes to the ground after fighting him in the air. I really wish my character in the pawns land on the ground. Awesome. They only I think I only remember them doing it once, but every time they don't really do it. I still could grind out on Blair Black to get the rest of Chaz's items, but there's no point. Maybe for hard mode. But I don't know. Do I at least get my equipment in hard mode? I don't know, I need to look into that. But well, I'm not doing hard mode for a long time. Make sure that doesn't go up. But that is the end of Dragon's Dogma. Took about 5-6 months. That's what happens when you upload one video at a time and alternate that one video at a time between other Let's Plays that I'm doing. But this is a freaking awesome game. You should play it if you have it. Though me playing it at a super high level didn't really show the difficulty factor in the game. But... 
It's like, I describe it as a casual Dark Souls. It's not like Dark Souls difficult, but it can be difficult. Fun game. I don't know what the next thing is. I know what I'm going to do next. But, for like the fourth, sixth time I'm trying to end this, if you watch this from beginning to end and all that good shit, thanks! As I said before, I will probably do a hard mode playthrough much later on in the future. When I feel like playing this game again. Or if it gets an Xbox One release or when it gets on Xbox One's backwards compatibility. I don't have an Xbox One anyway, so that's another reason why it's going to be much later on. Or I can just play on 360 again if I felt like it. But, uh, thanks for watching, especially if you watched this since the very beginning. Something in my mouth, fucking hair, came out of nowhere. Check back later for whatever the next Let's Play is going to be. Honestly, it's probably going to be Psychonauts. If you're looking for the next RPG, it's probably going to be Kingdoms of MLR. That's going to be a fun one, and it be a long one, too. But, for the 7th, 6th, 7th, 20th time, thanks for watching. Check back later for Hard Mode, and uh, I'll check back later in the future, or if you're watching this after this has been uploaded for a while. Probably link to it, maybe. Yeah, I'll probably link to it. For hard mode. So, bye!